Hi everyone, today I will share our own family experience regarding Montreal trip. It was a four day, three nights day with five adults and one kid included. We headed for YVR Vancouver Airport at 4 a.m. Arrived at the airport at about 4.20 and checked in at Lynn's Air. Let's go! Our first impression when arriving at Montreal Airport is the YUL Art Program. With various mirrors presented in the corridor between Halter Park and the terminal. These are artworks of various artists showing the warmest welcome to this beautiful city. Montreal is the most popular city in Quebec. About 80% of residents here are able to speak French. French and English are the two official languages used in this city. If you are planning to visit Montreal, summer and fall are considered the best seasons for traveling since the temperature in winter can go up to minus 15 degrees Celsius or even lower. Since we arrived at Montreal at around 4 pm, we basically just hang out at places near our Airbnb homestay. We chose to the homestay which is just about 5 minutes walk to the metro station so that it would be more convenient to travel around the city. We ate dinner at Diablo's barbecue, which was just a few blocks away from our homestay. Our homestay, which is located on Avenue Le Mans, is pretty accessible to multiple locations such as churches, fresh markets, parks, and fast food stores. For Catholic families, St. John de Martha, located on Allard Street, provides a number of mass um, services during weekends. Just about 10 minutes walk from Lamont Street is Pro Provigo Grocery Store where you can find basically everything you need for home cooking meals from fresh vegetables and fruits, meat to ready to eat. On the second day at Montreal, we headed to Montreal Museum of Fine Art in the morning and St. Joseph Oratory Dumont du Groyer in the afternoon. Because St. Joseph Oratory opens late until 9 p.m., St. Joseph Basilica is located on Mount Royal Hill, where we could observe the city from the height of 30 meters above the Mount Royal Summit. This oratory has attracted about 2 million visitors and pilgrims every year. Thanks God for such a wonderful sun shining day. We were able to fulfill our morning plan visiting St. Joseph Oratory. Here we were so impressed with the interior architecture of the church with its tainted glass windows, iconic Monte Angor arches, the St. Joseph statue made out of marbles, Especially the huge garden of the Way of the Cross, just be right beside the basilica, sheltering beautiful sculptures created by talented artist Roger de Villiers. We spent the rest of the day at our homestay where we were really enjoyed our family dinner with home-cooked Vietnamese style dishes. This actually helped us save a lot of money for the trip and also relax and give us more time for socializing and discussing about what we have visited during the day. The third day at Montreal, we went to visit Notre Dame Basilica in the morning. The church opened at 12 p.m. and it's not hard to reserve the tickets online via the website. The fee to get in is about $15 Canadian dollars per adult.
Notre Dame Montreal is the National Historic Site of Canada, was built around 1824. This is considered one of the, the oldest churches that follow Gothic Revival architecture style. There are stunning ceilings, hundreds of wood carvings, dented glasses, and a massive organ that amaze the tourists. Just few steps from Notre Dame Montreal is a bunch of souvenir shops. If you go a few blocks further, you would reach Chinatown, where it's easy to find Lancho noodles, which originates from a famous Lancho noodle village in China. However, the line was quite long, and we weren't be that patient. We ended up having some food in a Vietnamese restaurant nearby. Stops of the day are Place Tricks, Cartier, and Old Port, which are just about 10 minutes away from Notre Dame Basilica. Feel a real European atmosphere, enjoying moments of walking along the riverfront paths, immersing into street music performances, and observing vibrant activities. Ending up the full three day in Montreal, we really feel impressed with the stunning beauty of the city. It was totally not stressful but quite relaxing and chilling trip with a family. <laughs> <laughs>